The White House grilled on whether President Biden is part of a cover-up over the handling of classified documents as House Republicans demand information about visitors at his Wilmington home. After all, they found classified documents there. GOP Congressman Jeff Van Drew, member of the House Judiciary Committee, as well as Transportation, joins us now. So, Congressman, first off, your reaction to some of these uh, documents dating back to his Senate years. What's going on here? Well, it's a cover-up, and we know that it's a cover-up. And even worse, it dates over time, <clears throat> excuse me, so that I think there's even more documents. I've never even seen or heard anything like this. For years, he has documents that are scattered in multiple places, which we know now. And what really is so hypocritical, he was criticizing President Trump right. when he has documents that are in a garage, and that's supposed to be a safe place. I don't know if a leaf gets it's underneath the garage door, as you know from having what I'm sure you have an automatic garage door opener, they pop right open again. I mean, it's unbelievable. So this really needs to be investigated. We need to find the truth. We're going to find the truth, um, both on my right. committee and judiciary, also on oversight. And I think it's going to be shocking. I think this president needs to stop being so hypocritical and being honest. That'd be nice for a change. Jeff, what's a bigger, what's a bigger harder thing to wrap your head around? that he has some documents, some classified documents, dating back to his Senate years, or that ahead of time he would move documents so that, so that discovery wouldn't be nearly as bad as it actually is. For example, everybody knows Rehoboth is next. Well, drum roll, please. They're coming. They're going to call ahead of time. I mean, don't you think they're moving stuff? Yeah, I think he's probably got documents in Rehoboth, you know, hiding them somewhere with the beach chairs and the, uh, or they're gone. the surfboards, or they're gone. And that's why we want to know who, who are the people that are visiting these places. I personally believe that in some way this is involved with Ukraine, that in some way it's involved with China, in some way it's involved with Hunter. There is a lot here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to dig into. Something is wrong, but the hypocrisy is what really kills me. That he was so critical and felt so strongly about President Trump having this locked away in a safe place. Well, you know, we almost had a, a whole team of people descend on Trump's house. Here it's like, ah, it's no big deal. Congressman, it's a real big deal. Congressman, he's an actor. You saw him on stage next to President Trump saying that 51 Russia, uh, intelligence experts say the laptop wasn't real when he knew the laptop was real because he recognized all the pictures and Hunter probably told him. Meanwhile, the other big story over the weekend, Senator Joe Manchin's always dancing on the Democratic, independent, Republican line. You were a Democrat, famously, and switched. Do you think Manchin's getting ready to switch? Let's listen. You run for office in 2024. You going to run as a Democrat? Chuck, I haven't made a decision what I'm going to do in 2024. I've got two years ahead of me now to do the best I can for the state and for my country. That sounds like something, somebody that's looking for a way into national politics. I'm telling you that I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that when I make my decision, I make it based on what's best. Can, can Manchin get traction as a Republican? No, I think people have had enough. You know, when I changed, let me be clear, I changed from the majority party to the minority party at the time. Yep. That was a big deal. I was the first person to ever do that in history. People have changed, but they never went from the majority to the minority. I changed because I really believe in conservative values. I believed in the Republican values. I believe that we had to do so much about our border and a host of other things that I won't even go into now because I know we probably don't have the time. I changed for real reasons. Uh, this is a game he's playing. He's going to change. He's not going to change. He's kind of conservative, but not really. If you look at his voting record, he voted for most of all this bad stuff. Um, he voted for the omnibus bill and a whole bunch of other things. And I don't buy it. All right. Uh, Jeff Andrew, Congressman Jeff Andrew, Republican from New Jersey. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. We'll see where this goes. Coming up, a new